I think from a more practical basis, what some of the work Amazon are doing in the US, integrating what they call AR view into the basic Amazon app and enabling you to look at a whole range of products and visualize what they might look like uh, in, your, in your home environment. Um, I think it's really powerful. I mean, when you think about Amazon's mission about trying to make shopping as convenient and as frictionless as possible, that role of AR in helping you make choices and make decisions um, is, is really brought to life, I think, perfectly with that example. I think one that sticks out for me has got to be our work with Bombay Sapphire uh, and the ability to bring a bottle to life uh, before it's, uh, yeah, before your eyes. So I, I think I'm going to stick with Bombay Sapphire. That was one that we worked on with uh, US retailer Tilly's last year. There was a scavenger hunt around Tilly's stores um, where there were three different experiences to unlock uh, and then the payoff at the end was a coupon uh, and Tilly's saw their highest redemption rate of a coupon they've ever had and it was close to 90%. I think it's probably the ones which um, have a sort of a clear, a clear purpose or a clear use so obviously things like IKEA Place and uh, Google Translate but even some really sort of basic AR apps like an AR tape measure app and the reason I like those so much is that I think they make AR very accessible and understandable for a mass audience um, and, and therefore should sort of propel mass adoption much more quickly than um, you might do otherwise.